video has actually taken me by surprise because I am so very excited to film it and it kind of confuses me. If you guys didn't know, I live in LA now for the time being. However, I am from Arizona and I'm back here in Arizona for a week for Thanksgiving and this is where like all the good thrifting is. And I'm supposed to be taking this week off of YouTube. I have like pre-scheduled content. I'm supposed to be resting. However, like there's good thrifting to be done out here. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I woke up this morning and I was like, yeah, I don't make the rules. Like I'm in the land of good thrifting and I have to go, so off I go. I'm at my favorite Savers right now. It is Saturday. I've never been to the Savers on a Saturday, but there's like hardly anyone here, so I'm really excited. I'm also gonna keep an eye out for potential thrifted Christmas gifts, like maybe for my friends, maybe for my mom. Like I'm gonna look for sustainable gift ideas for friends or family. So I'm literally so excited. I can't wait any longer. Let's go inside and do some good thrifting today. Hallelujah. section because this place has the best. I get a lot of questions for like my main filming area, the little DIY basket wall that I did. Thrifted all of those. There's always just so many cute baskets. I know I have a problem. It's fine if you're aware of it, right? Right? So cute. Oh, she's back. They also have a really, really poppin' Christmas section right now, so I might have to start. They're looking at some Christmas stuff. of Christmas sweaters I've ever seen. Ugly Christmas sweaters, cute Christmas sweaters, like there's so many good ones. I'm even thinking about like picking up a few because the thrift girls and I, Jessica, Leah, and Alexa, are talking about maybe having like a Christmas sweater party and so I'm thinking about maybe like snagging a few of these cute ones. Is this turning into a Christmas time thrift with me? If so, I'm okay with it. literally just found possibly one of the biggest gems I've ever seen. It's a slip dress that has Christmas time Looney Tunes characters on it. What? It's a size small, so it's obviously not gonna fit me, but oh my God, this is a gem. Someone come get this. You guys, no joke. I think I've picked up like 10 sweaters to look through. There are so many freaking gems. I think I might have to give everyone in my life a Christmas sweater. Like, these are just so cute. This one has a freaking turtleneck underneath it. Ugh. So the lady just came over the intercom and said that the 50% off tags for today are orange, green, blue, and silver. So those are something to consider, but there are just so many good gems here. Like this was a great way to start it. I honestly could have done an entire video in the Christmas section, but it's like how many Christmas sweaters does one actually need? You know, she says when there are 10 in her cart. That's besides the point. So next, naturally, I had to come to the men's section and I came over to where the blazers are because you guys know, I'm always on the hunt for the perfect blazer. Still haven't found it yet. But look at this selection. Oh my gosh, all these prints. Yes, please. Like, are you kidding? I would take any of these. There's so many good ones. Wow. Maybe the one I've been looking for is right here. We'll see.
usual browse, you know, I go through the men's section first always, and I've already been here like over an hour. <laughs> I haven't even made it into women's clothing yet. I just went Christmas, and then I went straight into men's. I'm not gonna detail every little bit of the men's t-shirt section because every single one of my thrifting videos has done that, but I did manage to find this Arizona shirt, which I thought was pretty cool. Or pretty lame, depending on how you look at it, because I am currently in Arizona, but I don't live here right now, so you know what? I'm allowed to wear an Arizona shirt. Next, I'm going to make my way through women's dresses, which hopefully won't be as much of a shit show as it has been in the past. I've gotta say, today has been awesome so far. Like, there have been more gems that I found today than I have in a long, long time. So, Arizona, you're doing me good. Now, let us do our best to sort our way through all of this. add as well that I have seen a really good amount like I'm happy with the amount of plus sizes that I've seen today I've seen sizes 26 3x 2x pretty much this entire side of the dress aisle is plus sizes which I love a lot more here obviously than LA which is weird because that's not something I don't know I thought LA was gonna have all sorts of cool funky things but like it makes sense it makes sense so I definitely think a lot of that is regional but it feels really good to be here and know that there are many more size options available at this store. Now when I'm talking gems today you guys, now I'm in the women's jacket section, like gems, gems, like this bad boy right here. This windbreaker, this like 80s style windbreaker, ugh. So I'm finishing this off in the women's sweater section and I'm actually so overwhelmed because there are so many good things that I don't know what to do with myself. Like there's so much stuff. I like literally just had to like, <sighs> I wish I needed more sweaters than I do, but I'm so full up on sweaters, but like, oh my God, do I buy them? Maybe. six or seven things to try on so I'm really hoping that some of these work out but I've really been like flexing my control muscles here today because I could buy so much stuff but I'm just trying to really be mindful of how much I'm actually buying at these thrift stores while I'm shopping etc etc so I'm pretty proud of myself I've narrowed it down to seven items and usually I have like 12 to 15 plus I'm gonna see how these items work out let's do this in a timely manner decisions it's time to buy this stuff and we will meet back up in the car for a good old-fashioned haul just like the old days okay we're back in the car and my grand total that I spent today was $26.31 my original total was going to be I think like $30 and some change but I got because uh, I'm a savers member I got 20% off the remaining non-sale items and I did save $8 on the 50% off items because a few of the tags like I said were half off so I'll start from the top here from the beginning I did end up getting three Christmas sweaters or Christmas style sweatshirts for the girls for Christmas even if they don't end up wearing them like the night that we have our party I just thought they'd be fun to have so I picked a sweater that I felt like from the selection I had matched each girl the best so this first one is like a Santa mock neck it's oversized it'd be so cute tucked into some jeans with a belt and this just screamed Alexa to me obviously it's black it has little Santas all over it. I just think she would look so so cute in this so I picked this one for her and this one was only $2.99 so a really good deal the next one is like a really kind of vintage looking Christmas sweater it's by the brand Blair 
never heard of it. It's this really soft, like vintage sweatshirt and it says peace, joy, and love. I love that and also Leah's middle name is Joy so I thought that would be a good fit and it's got cute little like angels and Santa. Maybe that's Mr. and Mrs. Claus, I don't know. And a reindeer, so cute. And she's really into like vintage style so I thought this would be a good fit for her and this one was $7.99 so a little more pricey but they're learning, they're learning what's trendy and they're charging accordingly. And the last one I got is for Jessica. This just felt like a really Jessica sweater. She's just bright. I feel like I always see her wearing lighter colored sweatshirts too, so I thought this would be good. It's got the like poinsettia, poinsettia, I don't know how to say it. I feel like Arizona pronounces everything weird, but they're just these really pretty Christmassy flowers and it's just such a cute sweatshirt. Like I just love it, so hopefully she will too. And this one was $4.99, but it was on sale for half off because it was a gray tag, silver tag. So it was $2.50, not bad. Then for my own personal stash, I only got three things. The first thing was this blazer. Is it the one? I don't know. Does the one exist or does it just exist in my mind? We'll find out. But I think this is gonna be the one that I'm going to start styling with like band tees and mom jeans and stuff like that. So this was half off as well. It was a blue tag. It's a men's size medium, but it fit me really well. This blazer is super like shoulder padded, but I'm kind of getting over that. Like I used to have such an aversion against it and now I'm just like, whatever, let my shoulders point out. I don't care. I feel like I can style it in a bunch of ways. So yeah, like I said, it was a blue tag, so it was half off. Originally $11, so what does that make this? Like $5.50, so pretty good deal. Next, I picked up a cozy sweater because I love just lounging around in cozy sweaters, especially after the video that I did where Leah and I thrifted items for each other for a week. She thrifted me a sweater that I lounged around in. It was just like kind of a basic knit men's sweater, and I was kind of like, wait, why haven't I done this before? So I picked up this one. It's by the brand Hanes. I didn't even know Hanes made sweaters but it's like an old school tag which I love and it's just this v-neck kind of almost Henley type sweater I guess you could say very pretty maroon color I love these type of jewel tones that matched up with my hair so it was $4.49 I could have asked for less because it actually does have a little hole in the side here but sometimes I just don't want to do that so I just paid for it and moved on and then the very last item is this Arizona shirt which you guys saw in the fitting room I accidentally dragged it across the floor in the cart so it does have a stain on the bottom of it now it's like this black dust stain but I'm sure I'll be able to get that on the wash after I sanitize it and all that good stuff I might cut this up I say that about every single thrifted shirt I ever buy I just always have a vision for that I don't know it may end up just being a lounge around the house shirt but I love it it was four dollars and ninety nine cents oversized can wear it with bike shorts can wear it with leggings can wear it on its own if you feel like not wearing pants so that is it that is my like home for the holidays thrift haul I hope you guys enjoyed it definitely let me know if you want to see this again when I come back for Christmas and this trip today just definitely like I needed this boost in confidence as far as thrifting went because LA is a lot more difficult for a mid-sized body and that's just being real that's not blaming anyone any store anything it's literally just me existing in my body and hoping that I find my size and I had a lot more luck today so hopefully this video made you guys a fraction as happy as it made me I love you guys so so much and I will see you in the next one bye